In this example, we'd like to find the coordinates in the translated graph of the given shape characterized by three provided vertices, A, B, and C, by following the rule of the translation, x minus 5 and y plus 6. So how does it work? So notice that uh, basically what, what, me what this means is that we basically have to subtract 5 from each x and add 6 to each y. Okay? So in this case, here's how this will look like. So we know that the rule states that x will add a certain a value, and then the y will add a certain b value. OK? So what this basically means in this case is that we will have x plus negative 5 okay and then the y plus 6 positive 6 okay so what this basically means is that a is equal to minus 5 and then the b is equal to positive 6 so all we need to do we need to basically add a and b respectively to each x and y okay so a prime is going to be uh, for the x value minus 2 plus negative 5 right so that's the same thing as minus 5 and then the y will be 3 plus b plus 6 okay so what that's going to give us is minus 7 and then 9. The b prime will be 4 plus negative 5. So that's the same thing as 4 minus 5. And then negative 5 plus b plus 6. So what that turns out to be <coughs> that what that turns out to be is negative 1 and then positive 1. And then finally the C prime will take uh, the 0 and add negative 5, so that's the same thing as minus 5, and then 3 plus 6 plus the B value. 3 plus 6. Alright, so that what that turns into is that you get minus 5 and 9. Okay, so let's plot the original points and then we're going to plot the uh, translated points as well. So negative 2, 3. So that's here. That's A. 4 minus 5. 4 minus 5. That's here. That's B. And then 0, 3. Okay. So that's this one here and that's C. So let's connect the uh, given graph. And then we're going to see how translation worked. I'm going to use the blue color for now. getting this getting this so this is a triangle and now let's talk about the translated coordinates that we just found so we're going to have a prime is negative 7 9 so that's 7 to the left first 5 6 7 and then 9 up 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so that's here that's a prime b prime is negative 1 1 so negative 1 1 Okay, so that's a B prime. And then um, <clears throat> C prime is negative 5, 9. So 5 to the left and 9 up gets us here, C prime. So if we connect it, you will see what happened. We will get something like this. I know the shapes may overlap, but that's fine. That's not what we need to worry about. So this is what happened. So notice the translation does not change the orientation. It simply moves, and nor does it change the shape itself. It doesn't change the angle measures. It doesn't change the lengths of the sides, not like dilations work right either. So it's not rotated. It's not reflected. It's not enlarged, or it's not uh, made smaller. It just moves it in a certain direction 
right it can move it diagonally it can move it up it can move to the right down etc right left right so it doesn't change the angle measures doesn't change the orientation of it right a prime a prime c prime is horizontal so is the ac right and the same thing so parallelism is still there okay so in a way it's closest to dilation except dilation is not uh the same uh, lengths of the sides as it were before. Dilation is either smaller or bigger, right? But uh, this one not uh, not just moves it, but it doesn't change the size of, uh, doesn't change the lengths of the sides, right? So translation is really straightforward. The uh, formulas are straightforward. All you do, you just add or subtract a certain value from the original x values and you get your a prime values, right? The uh, translated graph. So I hope this was useful and fun. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.